Hey everyone, in the news this week, this disgraced actor Kevin Spacey's in trouble again, this time he's facing four charges of assault. In his defence he said that all he did was ask the young men if they quote wanted his part. Across the pond, America has a baby food shortage at the moment, which is officially being blamed on the driver shortage as well as one of the big factories being closed in what is a very tight and regulated industry. Although if you want my two cents, there didn't seem to be these shortages until a couple of years ago when men started being able to get pregnant, at least that's what the BBC claims happens. Talking of the BBC, there was an incident this week when the BBC News Channel briefly broadcast the breaking news, quote, Manchester United are rubbish, before it was taken down and in turn presumably given the sack. You know, I'm not sure what the stranger part of this story is, the fact that the BBC News Channel reported something that was actually true, or the fact that they felt the need to apologise for doing so. The main story this week is probably Ukraine, but the media are, of course, still going all in on the party get scandal story, desperate to claim the scalp of the Prime Minister for five main reasons. Number one, he went to Eton. Number two, he was key in making Brexit happen. Number three, he sometimes criticises the more extreme aspects of wokery. Still nothing about a party yet. Number four, he once wrote for the Daily Telegraph. Oh yeah, number five, most importantly, they didn't get an invite to his party. You know, if Laura Kunzberg or Justin Webb had been invited along, they'd have been at Downing Street faster than a Conservative Party donor in search of a peerage. In the meantime, Boris has sought to change the rules about people having to resign if they get caught out. Although if he did really want to wind up the left, he should really team up with Quincy Jones and re-release the song, quote, It's my party and I'll lie if I want to. Sorry, it wasn't a party, it was a work meeting with refreshments, or some such rubbish like that. You know, that kind of rebranding is akin to if one of these ministers were given a sack, and they went on to claim that they were suffering from, quote, earning disabilities. Anyway, see you next week. If you like these, click subscribe.